Hey yo, I've got a bonus video for you guys this week. Last week I posted the pilot episode of the Keep It Quirky podcast. Cheers. Thank you so much for all of your comments and feedback. I want you guys to know that I will continue to do these fun QKD videos, the ones that you know and love that I've been doing for years, short form food and travel videos. The podcast is just something I would be doing in addition. But today it's all about the celebration of autumn and this incredible season that we're sauntering in. Into. So, it's pumpkin roll time. Recently, a video game company actually reached out to me about this simulation game they have called Home Street. Okay, so they have this Halloween event in the app, and they asked me to show the users of the app how to cook with pumpkin. I'm not really a gamer, but I was like, all right, uh, there's food involved in this simulation game, so I'm interested. You guys have seen me cook with pumpkin with Erica Von Trapp on her YouTube channel, Bubble Child. Pumpkin is a squash, right? So you can cook it just like you would any other squash. You can blend it up and make it into a puree. I like to put it in my oatmeal or porridge, as they would say here, um, all kinds of things, cookies and cakes and all that kind of stuff. You can totally cheat and just buy the canned puree stuff, that'll work just as well. Okay, let's make it. Let's make the cake first. You'll need three eggs and mix those together with one cup of granulated sugar. You'll want 170 grams or six ounces of cream cheese and 275 grams of canned pumpkin, which is about a cup. One time I totally spaced out and added the cream cheese, which is supposed to be reserved for the frosting. I added it to the cake mixture and I was like, oh no, what have I done? And then it turned into the most delicious moist pumpkin cake I have ever made. So it's actually perfect for this pumpkin roll, which can crack when you roll it up. It's not as likely to crack. So mistake turned into success. Now let's get to our dry ingredients. Whisk together 3 fourths cup of all purpose flour. That's about 100 grams. One teaspoon of ground ginger, half teaspoon of kosher salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, and two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. Then mix your pumpkin puree mixture into the flour mixture until well combined. And then spread it on greased parchment paper on a jelly roll pan. Put it in the oven at 190 degrees Celsius or 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. Then let it cool in the pan for about five minutes. Sprinkle icing sugar slash confectioner sugar on a tea towel and put your cake on that. Now slowly and gently roll this up and let it cool in the refrigerator for about 45 minutes. Meanwhile, make your frosting. Time for a quick public service announcement. In America, we say powdered sugar or confectioner sugar to mean what they call here in the UK, icing sugar. Now that we've got that little vocab word settled, let's continue. 225 grams of unsalted butter, one half cup stick, three cups of icing or confectioner sugar. That's gonna be about 390 grams. Three tablespoons of cream cheese. A half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Chop about one cup or 80 grams of pecans and fold in those pecans. If you're not a fan of nuts, just leave them out. No biggie, some recipes don't include them. Some recipes will say to add it to the cake batter. I like to fold it in with the frosting because I really like that texture combination. Now you'll unroll the rolled cake and spread the frosting on top. Then re-roll it, wrap it in plastic wrap, and refrigerate until you're ready to serve. When it's ready to serve, dust it with a bit of icing or confectioner sugar and slice. It's so good. So if you're one of the people watching this from the home street game, I hope that you learned how to pump, how to pumpkin. <laughs> A game that incorporates cooking with pumpkin and Halloween, I think I could get behind. All right guys, happy fall. And as always, keep it quirky.